Hey yo, this is your guy Fat Star from Urban Anime Lounge, and today I'm sharing my picks of what I think is gonna be type I to watch for this spring 2K22 season. <laughs> my bad, I'm type late by, well, not that far, I'm not that late, but like shit takes mad long to edit. But uh, maybe two weeks ago, I sat down and had a convo with some of my friends from the team, so I'll be cutting in and out and sharing some of their thoughts for my picks. I had to run and buy them first to make sure I wasn't bugging. But anyway. For this spring, I'm going to be looking at shows that are first runs, no sequels or the like for this season because that would be tight boring to just run with the powerful sequels. So I'm letting y'all niggas know in advance, there ain't going to be no Rising the Shield Hero Season 2, Kaiyua Sama Lovers War Season 3, or Kobe saying Can't Communicate Season 2. And it's not like they aren't good, minus Shield Hero, but they're getting enough shine. I wanted to put a spotlight on some of the other shit. Anyway, it's time to get the show on the road. Let's get started with my picks. The first thing we're going to do is start with my pick for the drama of the season. It's Dance Dance Dancer, animated by Studio Mappa. Looks like a sequel to Ballroom, but it's not. And when I pressed it to the team, this is what they thought. It's good um, visually, but would I watch it? No. What? It's nah. like... It's I always not. compare this stuff to like Yuri on Ice because I felt like that was prime like dance sports type anime i don't i don't know i'm not really feeling it seems story generic wise i'm not sure yeah it it kind of seems like kind of a seasonal thing that you would expect you know just kind of thrown out there it looks yeah. pretty i would want to see one scene of like the the usher in the in the rain dancing <laughs> but I would probably watch that on YouTube and then I'd never watch the show. <laughs> yeah, it's it's gonna be a no for me. That's a no for you. I'd I probably watch it if it was on in the background. I'd be like, oh, what 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 uh move did he learn this episode? But besides that, nah. I legit thought this was the second season of the ballroom an anime for the longest time. So I'll probably watch it, but I don't think it's gonna be like fire. I'm a, yeah, I have the same, like, I'm only watching it to compare it to Ballroom, pretty much. Like, if I already sat through that one and I enjoyed it, might as well give this one a little chance. Uh, I say that one stick about a six. Damn. I think it's going to be, a, it'll probably be a seven. Yeah, I was about 7. to say a, se a seven. Out of 10. Unless it's something really good and we just <laughs> sleep on it, but you never know. Hey, I say seven. I'd be happy to be wrong. Don't ask me. <laughs> uh, well, seems the team ain't really sold on it, but I digress. <laughs> it's time to get everyone's least favorite part of the season out the way. It's Isekai time, so let's do this shit. For spring, there is about five of them, but they all look pretty mid and uneventful. Uh, the top three that I had were your boy Kong Bing, Skeleton Knight in Another World and The Greatest Demon Lord is Reborn as a Typical Nobody. And you already know, based off the anime rules, the longest isekai title always wins. So here we go. <laughs> and and I'm not even a fan of this genre, so Ooh. it's not it's not even grabbing me. It's like what what is even I don't even know what it's really about. Like, okay. Right. So the that... demon lord is reincarnated to a typical guy what <laughs> yeah same feel i mean i generally like a set guys and so i'm gonna give it a shot but you know this you see i say it's got a potential for maybe an eight but it'll probably wait what if, <laughs> an eight? I, no it's it's got the potential i'm telling you i really think they screwed up that trailer i think it's got potential okay yep I'm gonna I'm a, give it a five, just to be generous. Yeah, it looks uh, like it's gonna be generic, or basic, just an isekai. Uh, overpower character comes in, starts soloing, doing crazy feats. It's been a winning formula for a long time, depending on who you I mean, Has it? Yeah, it only works when If it that's works. not your genre, then of course it's not gonna work for you. I watch a lot of the guys. Uh, well, I'm expecting back-to-back -back letdowns from the new Sakai this season, but we're past that. Now, we on to the romance, and with the team, I was stuck, so sadly, I had to ask them for their help to pick a show for this category. And I thought they would pick the clear goat for the season, but they clearly missed it. So basically, I kept it to these three that I found early on. 
So I asked the team to pick from A, a couple of cuckoos, which looks like it's gonna be pretty fucking interesting, like from anyone that watches romance. Like it looks like it's out of the norm. And then from B, which is Shikimori is not just a cutie. And it basically just looks like standard, fair, pink haired Cinder looking girl in an anime romance trope type shit. Could be good, but I'm hating. Or I told him to pick from C, AKA trapped in a dating sim, which just looks like a fucking kitchen sink romanticai, everything. I don't know what genre I'm supposed to be, but here I am. And they chose, instead of picking the clear goat for romance of the season, these niggas chose that one. The last one right there. Sikimori's yeah. not just a cutie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yep. it's, the last it gives one. me it gives me Comey can't communicate vibes. Well, well, wait a minute. Don't don't say it. That was super cute. It was super cute. Yeah, uh, I, I like I like I like that one because the vibes that, is a little bit different. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I, the the dating in the sim almost had me to <laughs> swear to God. It, it might it might be fire. If I feel like it's not, I think it's comedy. So I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna say it like this. I think y'all wrong for romance this season, but we'll see. Ah, so we are gonna see who's right and which of the three scores higher. But I did feel like I'm right. But anyway, up next we got cult hit of the season or the dark horse. And for me, I picked Tomodachi Game. I have it in this category because people love this type of dark shit. Like death games always sell off, and if there's people seeing this type of fucked up shit, like they love it. Like Squid Game, all that shit. Alice in Borderland always sells off with the people as long as it's done right. So cheers to hoping they don't fuck up the anime. I'm about to go watch probably episode one after this video is edited halfway I can't comment anything because i already, i read the manga oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say if it's if episode one starts strong it's probably gonna be a strong eight out of ten and yeah really i would popular. I be with that I, it's it definitely looks like something i would watch um so if like like you said i'm i'm uh, i'm gonna give it a three episode try that's always what i do Three episode try and if i if them if they make it to three then i'll continue to watch it for a full season so what about you dice man you watching it too or man it, it looks exciting um i mean you throw betrayal money on the line trying to figure out people's motives psychological twists people doubting themselves makes for a compelling compelling tv i say it's, it, if it gets any lower than an eight i'd be surprised well it it could get lower than an eight it's the show it's for itself to lose pretty much like, but, it can only go down from where it's at i don't think it's gonna be a 10 i don't think it's gonna be a nine so it can only go from eight and lower i will say it because i'm a fan of that whole genre death games um Sick yeah i like death games <laughs> but this this was one of my top ones because some of my top ones is like real account which would never get animated and stuff like that so this one I didn't expect it to get animated, so I was like, ooh, it's getting animated? Okay. Okay. I'm ready. That now ready makes <laughs> You finally got tip for one. <laughs> this this so, was dark. Sentiments is type high for it from the team, so let's see where the shit go. Now, it's time for sports banger of the season, and for sports, uh, some of the team members gonna kill me, but this shit is looking pretty lackluster. You got Gunjo, No Fanfare, AKA Preppy Boys Horse Racing Jockey School, Love All Play, AKA The Prince of Badminton, and I don't know, the cover looks fire, but the trailer was buns. And finally, well not finally, you got We Sports Girls, so looks like some golf shit i ain't knocking it it might be good but clear runaway for the season is al ashy <laughs> looks like it's gonna be leagues above anything in this category for this year and it's soccer so like it's hard to fuck up soccer except for the few dozen anime that fucked up soccer in the past but uh miss skittle seems to like it uh, yeah. so football has a special place in my heart or oh, soccer okay. i used to play it so i i feel like i would definitely like check this out i'm not into sports anime i was actually very surprised that i watched both seasons of the the volleyball one Haikyuu. Uh, oh Haikyuu. Yeah. yes Haikyuu was so i i was pleasantly surprised i really enjoyed it um so I, i'll give this a shot i'll give it a shot, I'll give it a shot. 
I, I think this is gonna suffer because doesn't Blue Lock come out this season? No, I think it comes out next season. Okay, because I'm like, again. if two soccer anime com- came out at the same time with oh, wait, Blue Lock, Maybe Blue, Lock Blue Lock's supposed to come out, but then I'll watch it because I'm like, if this is coming out at the same time as Blue Lock, I can't watch this. <laughs> Damn. Wait, what? So, which one do you think would be better? Blue, Blue Lock. Blue Lock is gonna be better, but that's way more. It's a different league. It's a different tier. But for this one, it's mad intense. Like I had like a little tear in my eye. It was just like I can, I can tell, I can tell it's gonna be something special. Like you see how intense it is. Like never give up. And then they got the, the fucking Rock OST playing, man. This made you tear up, but not Kotaro. Listen, man, I don't care about that little <laughs> shit, motherfucker. Damn. What? <laughs> Hey, Jesus. Yo. Wow. <laughs> he out here. Um... <laughs> anyway, it's best part of the video time. My pick for sleeper of the fucking season. And drum roll, it's summertime render. I'm hoping that it isn't garbage. Like, <laughs> for real, for real. Like, I love time travel, especially when it, like, blows your mind and, like, makes like your head hurt in like a good way when you think about how everything connects i'm calling the sleeper because no one is looking out for it i know that shit might be good but if it's good i'm definitely running with it oh yeah i'm, I'm so with that one yeah i'm yeah, so see, with that one that, that's so what trailers that that's what trailers have to do right there just give you a little bit and then walk away with it no they don't gotta give you a little bit don't do that what you mean but- no, it's just not a little bit. It's 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 a certain type of a little bit because we saw a little bit with that isekai and we all was like, huh? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> that was a little bit of nothing. Oh, it, yeah, it's got to be a delicious little bit. Yes, I agree with you. That that was delicious. I was like, the girl got the gun to the head and everything, and then yeah, just... there was, there was there was a little yeah. Dark. It got a little. It was the music for me. Is he like you heard the music? Snap, mm-hmm. and he was like, "Wait, oh, something about mm-hmm. to happen." So even even before that turn, I was already into it a little bit. I was like, "Yeah, I was I was into it too." I was just like, "Oh, this is nice. on a small island." You know, I was like, "Slice of life," you know. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. no, it's not. It's not. It's a it's a time travel shit. So yeah, you already mm-hmm. know. The repeating of days, so uh, I, I have bias for time travel, especially if it's done fucking correctly and it blows your fucking mind. I, so this is, I think it will probably be a realistically, even though I'm biased for it, I think it's gonna be a seven point five. It could be an eight, but depending on how it plays out, depending on how it ends, if they dangle the shit and it's like uh, part two is coming out in two thousand twenty four type shit, it's gonna be a seven. But if it wraps up. <laughs> in its time span of i don't know is, is it 12 episode shit if it wraps up in 12 13 episodes perfectly it's gonna be eight if it if that happens just read the manga i keep telling y'all listen i don't read manga well i do read manga i just can't control myself i'm not trying to catch up and be waiting every week to read five pages in 10 minutes or less are you even caught up on all the stuff you're reading right now all right so i called the sleeper so if this bit just laugh at me at me and laugh at me. I'll take the L, but I'm calling the W. I'm doubling down, tripling down. Finally, but not least, not last, but least, whatever. You know what I'm saying. It's the hype of the season that isn't a sequel. And the shit already popped off when it was teased at a couple anime cons. Spy X Family. All we have to do is hope it lives up to the hype that it is. It looks like it's animated good. It has good studios behind it. The story don't look too bad. And the trailers are selling me, so. Comedy that I would expect with this show, so. I, I, I'm gonna go out on a limb. I'm gonna say it's it's easily gonna go over an eight. Yeah. Easily. Yeah, I think yeah. an eight. I think an eight also. It's gonna be hype of the season. Everyone gonna be talking about it. It's, it's one of those. So. I but think... I feel like it's also gonna be one of those shows that get stronger um, as the episodes go by. Like yeah. honestly. Yeah. And as the story builds up, it's gonna have some hype and anticipation. They're yeah. probably gonna vote it. Most likely to be watched in the group as like the the UALU uh, seasonal. Uh, I don't know who's gonna run it. It's not gonna be me. I'm stuck with that shield hero shit. But someone's gonna be <laughs> it. stuck yeah, with it. Who who nailed you it. to the cross? Myself. I nailed myself. <laughs> oh wow. 
But it's gonna be animated by Wit Studio and Cloverworks, so you already know the anime. Ooh. Oh yeah, so mm, yeah. it's gonna be good. It has all the makings of a strong eight. That's gonna probably transcend to a nine as long as the story is good and it doesn't fun and make the, itself. The out only thing will kill it maybe is the pacing, because I think the manga is ongoing or whatever. So, but it's it's kind of like episode out like is isn't it like episode 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 like story wise so i think it'd be fine are you talking about in the manga yeah okay so as i was saying that shit concludes this uh preview of the season for some of my picks and some random picks and finally here's me on camera calling the season let me know if i'm wrong mm-hmm. as mm-hmm. i was saying do you feel a gold platinum or diamond rating from spring 22? No. Uh, there might be some burners, but you, I, I give you credit. It's it's looking it's looking pretty silver. Yeah, this ain't no grandmaster season. Yeah. It's a, it's, yeah. A, it's a slow spring, but it got some a few picks, but nothing to compare to a great season. And thank you for sitting through this long ass video. I'm gonna try to chop it down in the future, but I just want to thank y'all for watching. And thanks to all the Patreons for supporting us. And thanks to our community over at Urban Anime Lounge for giving us the space to let black geeks of all sorts have the freedom to be themselves in a safe environment. If you like a chill vibe and a chill environment, come fuck with us. Boil up and join the group. Hopefully you can get through the membership queue. But if you do, you're going to enjoy it. Peace.